Hello all, I'm Ivan. This is my home allotment veggie beds. Right, I'll show you these first, I think. Yeah, so I'll get back to you in a sec. Uh, these are my runner beans. And as I've said before, I get a lot of black flies, so look, look at that lot. It's not really focusing that well, but you can see the stem there, it's black with it. So, I've got the old soapy water. I'm just gonna give them a damn good soaking with the soapy water all over the plant and then I'll come back later on and give that a good squirt with normal water where's it gone there it is I'll give it a squirt with normal water I'll probably brush them off with my fingers as well and then I'll give them a squirt of water then come back to them I'll show you all right this is one of my cayenne peppers it's doing quite well it's got some flowers and stuff on it but I don't know what is eating the leaves to be honest so yeah if anybody knows anything about what's eating my pepper leaves that'd be nice to know even on one of these uh, orange pointed normal peppers it's having a go as well so yeah, it's a bit weird. Yeah, on here as well. As you can see. So, yeah, if you've got any ideas, hit them up in the comments, yeah? When I looked at these last night, it had like a slug trowel on it. But it seems to have gone down onto my marigolds as well. So, I don't think... I don't even know if slugs eat uh, chilies, do they? So, it's a bit weird. But yeah, as I say, if you know anything, then let me know. Look at that one. I'll turn this one round. This is one from before. But, yeah. Right, I've got these spare marigolds. I'm going to save some to replace these if they don't recover. Looks like they started to. But I want to get over and weed that board a bit there. So I'll get on with that and I'll come back to you. Right, now there's a break in the music. I can show you what I've been up to. I've, been, I've started to uh, weed this out. These are coming up quite nice actually. They're quite pretty. But yeah, I want to try and get all this weeded to around at least there and get some of this out but I've got to be a bit careful in here because there's some other plants and stuff in here like this is a this is a white fuchsia so yeah I'll just take my time and work my way through there see how far I get and I'll show you how far afterwards right as you can see a lot of stuff has gone from here now so I've been planting out quite a lot of stuff today. I've planted out some of them marigolds and all the uh, marigolds, the uh, African marigolds and that uh, broken skulls. But this is the onions. They're drying out quite nice in here actually so far. So a bit more space. But right, I've watered these today as well, obviously. So I'll show you what I've done over on that border. When I get back to it. Right, as you can see, I've weeded this so all the weeds and everything's gone out of there. Weeded this bit, all this lot, and all of this as well. So I've put a couple of uh, African marigolds there. These were the fox gloves. A few uh, French marigolds. Another African marigold, the cosmos, more marigolds, I can't quite remember what these are, but yeah, but and there's that broken skulls, and there's the um, fuchsia, white fuchsia that I was talking about, I've done all the way up here as well, I've moved some of these from out the back of there, 
because they're obviously in the bank now, you know what I mean? But, yeah. Looks a bit different now. Looks a lot more tidier now that I've got them weeds out and stuff. So, yeah, that's all good. Right, I've given everything a good water. I would normally do this a little bit later, but I'll show you this little bit where I had all them uh, black fly earlier. So, yeah, it's had a good good spray down, but there is still a lot on there, to be honest. So, I think I'm going to have to get a recommendation by Steve from Digwell Greenfingers. He said get some of that SB plant invigorator. So, I'll probably do that. So, thanks for that, Steve. Yeah, I'll leave a link for steve's channel in the description yeah but yeah everything's going well yeah uh, looks like the i've got some buttons starting on the uh brussels sprouts so they're doing quite well and the uh cabbages are starting to heart up as well as you can see and uh beetroot it's all right it's starting i can see a couple of little ones in there so they're not too bad and these are the free cauliflowers as i said i'm gonna next time i see these i'm gonna harvest them as soon as i see them more or less depending on how big the head is but yeah everything's going well i'll even give some of these some water like I said before, I'm not going to pick these. I'm just going to leave them on there, let them die down. I'm going to use them for my broad beans next year because, yeah, there's not very many on there. Onions. I need to take that pea, peas out, to be honest, as well. So, right, that's going to be it for this week. So, thanks for commenting, subbing and liking. If you haven't subbed, there's a bell down in that corner. Click on the bell, click on all, and you get my notifications. Right, catch you later. Bye.